The extension, Green is a generic top-level domain The Internet Corporation of Assigned Names and Numbers delegated the, Green extension to the Domain Name System on June 19, 2014. The, Green GTLD is used by individuals, communities, industries and environmental organizations showcasing their position in the Green movement. Green websites support the spread of Green awareness and information around the world. The, Green TLD and those who use it promote the Green economy, innovation and conservation. The organization donates a percentage of all sales and renewals of, Green domain names to the .Green Foundation for the purpose of funding environmental sustainability projects for organizations worldwide. Information Green domain name registrations became available March 24, 2015. Nick.green slash went live at the end of 2014 and was the first ever green website. Green's main and current website, http colon slash slash www.going.green slash went live January 26, 2015. Green domain names can be purchased at most online registrars around the world just like .com and .org. Topic: World's environmental top-level domain. The Green New top-level domain is under the stewardship of the .Green Community Inc., which was formed for the purpose of bringing green to the internet through the new GTLD program with the Internet Corporation of Assigned Names and Numbers (ICANN). .Green is a SF Bay Area company that works closely with one of the largest registry operators in the world, Affiliates Limited in Dublin, Ireland. In an article titled Five Ways Brands Should Be Using New GTLDs, the author writes, "...brand owners should survey the entire space of new TLDs on a consistent basis to make sure that they register and use domains in meaningful spaces to connect with consumers." For example, a company like Patagonia should consider the idea of owning the domain www.patagonia.green. The brand could use the site to highlight its work in the Green community. Additionally, Patagonia will be able to leverage the work that the Green GTLD is doing to connect with that community and make it a known quantity amongst consumers who want to support Green initiatives. Topic: <laughs> Long history to bring Green to the Internet. The Green Initiative began in 2007 after the generic names supporting organization, known as the GNSO completed the policy discussion about new GTLDs at the ICANN meeting in Los Angeles, 2007. Aside from, Berlin proposed during an earlier round, Green was the first of what later became 1409 GTLDs and amounted to the greatest domain name expansion of the Internet since its inception. Green is the world's first environmental TLD proposed to both Internet and environmental communities. It was founded in the San Francisco Bay Area by a member of the Green Movement, a stay-at-home mother with four children. The Green Initiative was originally built around a California not-for-profit organization called the .Green Foundation, established for this purpose by Ms. Annalisa Roger in 2007, and incorporated in 2008 as a public benefit charity with U.S. 501 tax-exempt status. It was unknown if and when the new GTLD program would be written, approved, and implemented. Paris, France, June 2008, ICANN announced the new GTLD program and, Green was at the forefront. At that time, the effort behind, Green was run by volunteers as a not-for-profit initiative. A new group appeared with a second environmental top-level domain thought to be competition for, Green. Later, an interesting reveal was discovered that the .eco group was backed by Al Gore and Sir Roger Moore. However, the .eco TLD soon became contentious when as many as three parties were interested in developing the .eco top-level domain as a for-profit business. The volunteers behind .green established a website and traveled internationally following ICANN meetings to spread awareness, growing support for, green from environmental, humanitarian, and Internet communities. 2009, .green contracted with Noistar for registry services and with Earthshare for global distribution of funds earned through, green domain name sales. 
The volunteer effort behind Dot Green was funded by two women, Annalisa Roger and another local mum, Ms. Jennifer Knoll. Their team participated at ICANN for three years working with the Internet community to forward the new GTLD program. It became necessary to find additional funding to support their team and for the Green Initiative to survive the long, unknown timeline of ICANN's new GTLD program. In 2011, the Dot Green Community, Inc. a private corporation, was co founded by Dot Green Foundation's director, Annalisa Roger, Jennifer Knoll, joined by a local investor, Mr. Jeremy Kuhn, who offered to raise investor funding. Dot Green Community, Inc. formed a partnership with the existing Dot Green Foundation and submitted the application to ICANN. According to Roger, the proposed GTLD stands for Global Response to Environmental and Economic Necessities. Green. June 6, 2012 Singapore, competition for, Green surfaced at ICANN's big reveal when three Internet veterans positioned themselves at the last minute as, Green applicants. All three had filed applications for large portfolios of other new GTLDs with ICANN. Competition Dot Green Community, Inc., its supporters, and the Global Green Community exercised all options within the framework of the new GTLD Applicant Guidebook program during every stage of ICANN's multi-stakeholder program over the following year and a half. This included an outpouring of public support where notable individuals and organizations posted 50 online comments and letters to the ICANN Public Comments Forum website, and wrote letters to both ICANN and the Governmental Advisory Committee GAC, insisting that Dot .Green community gain the delegation of, green over the other applicants. No other, green applicant received a letter in favor of their, green applications. The Czech Republic, a member of the Government Advisory Committee GAC, wrote a letter to the ICANN board in favor of Dot Green and issued a GAC warning an official part of the new GTLD program, stating, "...this early warning is for three applications for the string, Green, they are, Top Level Domain Holdings Limited, United TLD Holdco, and Affiliates Limited." This early warning is based on concerns that these three applications are not directly involved or focused on the global public benefit of the green string. However, the ICANN board did not respond to this GAC early warning nor the many pleas for public benefit posted in ICANN's online public forum. There were no GAC warnings issued to Dot Green Community's application. The publicly traded companies, Top Level Domain Holdings Limited and Demand Media's affiliate known as United TLD Holdco Limited, later traded under the name Rightside and a third privately held Irish corporation, Affiliates Limited, planned a private auction to determine by way of the highest bidder which one would gain the rights to manage the Green GTLD. Top Level Domain Holdings Limited, operating as Minds Plus Machines, was the well-funded group seeking the .dot eco domain. Topic. Dot Green Community, Inc. withdrew Dot Green withdrew its application from ICANN for the Green GTLD in October 2013. In an article titled, Dot Green Calls It Quits with Impossible GTLD Auction Looming, the author writes, It seems the final decision was financial the cost of delays and an auction too much for the start up to bear. It's a pity really. There was some genuine enthusiasm for the cause behind this bid." In a letter, the founder of, Green wrote to the community she said, "...the auction procedure allowed by ICANN disregarded Dot .Green's long history in the Green community, and ignored the authenticity of Dot .Green's application, and the importance of public benefit which is in both the policies of the new GTLD program and stated in ICANN's bylaws." Bloggers described the withdrawal as disappointing. The announcement came months before the fate of the Green TLD would be decided via ICANN's auction process that saw companies with very deep pockets including Demand Media, Right Side, TLDH, Minds Plus Machines and affiliates all vying to become the official Green Registry. Topic: <laughs> Green Environmental TLD auction to highest bidder. February 2014
The industry headline was, two more new GTLDs — Wedding and, Green — were auctioned off, with proceeds amounting to millions of dollars. Affilia stood as the lone and winning applicant for green to go along with their other color TLDs black, blue, pink, dot red. Topic dot green community Inc rises from the ashes on September 16, 2014, almost one year after Dot Green withdrew from the race. Dot green community Inc and Affilia's announced a contracted relationship to bring the world's first GTLD for the growing green economy, businesses, social and environmental initiatives to the world. The industry responded to the news with articles and headlines. Dot green community Inc and Affilia's partnership best GTLD story of the year and Dot Green rises from the ashes and Dot Green is back from. The Dead Industry blogger, Kevin Murphy wrote, It appears to be a unique, first of its kind relationship in the new GTLD space. Affiliates will run the technical infrastructure of the registry, but the heavy lifting of actually marketing the names falls on Dot Green. Given that Dot Green spent quite a lot of time in the run up to the new GTLD application process building relationships with environmental groups, this could be an incredibly shrewd move by affiliates. Topic: Alternative DNS routes. A green GTLD bearing no connection to the above is supported in the alternative DNS route name. Space. <laughs>